Here we go. This guy told me to go to this this place called the John C. Campbell Folk School. Okay. It's in North Carolina. <laughs> so I okay. said, Groovy. Put sunk thousand dollars into reserving a place in this place for a week. Yeah. Alright. So I go there. Get there. First thing, right of the gate, the instructor <laughs> for the blacksmithing class has cerebral palsy. Can't even hold a hammer. Oh. Aww. Right out of the gate, not great. Okay, so, whatever. I go to the class. I don't really learn that much because the teacher he, can't teach anything. He can't. He's disabled. He just doesn't have working hands. <laughs> um, so, Such a non callous way to say it. So. I mean. <laughs> So, uh, but did he still walk, or was he in a wheelchair? He, he could walk, but, like, his hands didn't work. Right, you know? it, yeah. So anyway, so they also, you know, they, they offered room and board and food. Right. Sharing a room with four other dudes. Ew. In a, in a twin bed. Ew. Um, the shower, the shower head, these are all things... We're not even getting to the meat of the situation. <laughs> These are just my little nitpicky things. The shower head was about five feet tall. <laughs> and you are a For six people listening, five. I am, I am six five. Uh, so it was a little short for me. And <laughs> just a bit. Uh, you could only wash from the nipple down. <laughs> it was about it was about maybe three feet across. Okay. And there was no water pressure because it was in like the it was a hippie compound basically. I don't think anybody else in the place even used a shower because they were all gross and like old and hairy, weird people, you know. Yeah. So, but anyway, dinner time rolls around. Okay. Got there dinner time first. Uh, before they allowed you to eat, everybody had to sing together. Every there were like there were like two hundred people here, yeah. and they made us all sing. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other is yeah, gold. Yeah, what the... It's fuck? like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> but, like, okay, whatever. I, I like, half-heartedly mumbled words. And you have way more weird, tolerance for this shit than me Weird already. hippies. Uh, well, so far, you may think so. Keep going. Regardless. The dinner... It was some kind of barbecue chicken. Nice. I don't know what kind of chicken this was, but what I was given was a big, hearty block of cartilage. <laughs> there was no actual meat to this. It was just cartilage. Mm, and that's cartilage what I was offered jerky. for dinner. And it was so off-putting. I literally did not eat a meal. The entire rest of the time I was there, I skipped every meal. In the forge of this place, there was no way to get water. The only way to get water was in, like, the cafeteria. So to even get a drink, I had to go in there and sing with everybody. <laughs> to even get a glass of water. I was sweating bullets because, like, this building is, like, 500 degrees because there's fire everywhere, you know. Right, yeah. It's really hot in there. Uh, the jackass next to me <laughs> is, like... I don't know what he's using, but it's some kind of jig, and he's, ha he's using it wrong. So it's making an ear-piercing, like, deafening sound. <laughs> I can't do anything. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing, because this is, like, my first... Outside of, like, the three times I've been to New Salem, this is my first blacksmithing experience. Right, yeah. And the instructor has cerebral palsy, so he's not teaching me anything. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here, like, like, holding a hammer, holding a pair of tongs, just kind of standing there, and I heat something up and just hit it to make it look like I'm doing something, because I don't know what I'm doing. There yeah. Go. But, it doesn't matter, because I'm getting incredibly hot, there's nowhere to get a drink. Uh, and then... Let's see, what... When did I leave? I, at one point, I got so... <laughs> no, I got so fed up, that I... S <laughs> I waited until midnight... And I snuck out and drove home. <laughs> nice. And I just left in the dead middle of like I was supposed to be there for like a week. I just left. Like, it was <laughs> so miserable. You were there for a day. <laughs> it was the most miserable. Ex no, I was because I I missed like probably I'd probably be there at least three days because I missed like 
six meals. Wow. <laughs> because I just didn't want to eat more nasty cartilage chicken. They had you eating fucking hard tack like a pirate or it some was, shit. It was the worst experience I've ever had. Like that Civil War sounds general. Sounds terrible. Getting infected with yeah, fucking say, Was anyone lice. amputated in the process? No. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. 